A very different kind of light show was on display in Italy. Mount Etna is erupting again, sending hot lava down its snow-covered slopes. It is Europe's most active volcano. Etna, one of the most active volcanoes in the world, has erupted again. This time, it's the third eruption of the year. Imagine a cloud of ash shooting eight kilometers into the sky, throwing the island of Sicily into utter chaos. Catania International Airport, usually buzzing with activity, is now eerily quiet. Flights have been canceled or rerouted, leaving countless travelers stranded. The ground is shaking, windows are rattling, and residents are holding their breath, wondering how much more their island can take from this fiery giant. What's next for Sicily? Stay tuned as we go through the latest updates and explore what this means for the island's future. The eruption event. The eruption of Mount Etna causes Catania International Airport to close. The recent eruption of Mount Etna was a spectacular yet unsettling event, leaving everyone in its wake both fascinated and unnerved. It all started with an enormous ash cloud billowing from the volcano's summit, rising to an astonishing height of eight kilometers into the sky. This towering plume of ash and smoke turned the usually clear Sicilian sky into a murky gray, casting a shadow over the island. The sight was both mesmerizing and eerie, like something out of a surreal painting, with the sun struggling to peek through the thick veil of volcanic ash. To end from the Italian island of Sicily is currently disrupted due to a volcanic eruption. Catania International Airport was closed due to the eruption of Mount Etna which caused ash clouds to reach a height of 8 kilometers into the air. The airport management said, this suspension will result in cancellations and or diversions of routes to other airports, and stated that normal operations would resume after the ashfall ended. As the ash cloud spread, it became clear that the eruption was more than just a visual spectacle. It had significant practical consequences as well. The most immediate impact was felt at Catania International Airport, a critical hub for travel to and from Sicily. The airport authorities had no choice but to ground all flights, closing the airport entirely due to the hazardous conditions. Ash particles can be highly abrasive and pose serious risks to aircraft engines, not to mention the reduced visibility for pilots as a result, flights were either canceled or diverted to other airports like Pu and Kizo, creating a ripple effect of disruptions. Passengers were left stranded, anxiously waiting for updates on their flights and wondering how they would reach their destinations. The closure was initially expected to last until 6 p.m. But as with any volcanic activity, the timeline was uncertain, leaving many in limbo. Airline Aero Italia has reported that the airport will be closed until 6 p.m. today, Tuesday. No flights landed or departed in Catania, on the island's east coast. Some flights were diverted to Palermo and Comiso airports while others were cancelled. The eruption's impact extended beyond the airport, affecting the daily lives of local residents. The powerful forces at work beneath Mount Etna were palpable, with loud, thunderous rumblings echoing through the region. These sounds were more than just noise. They were accompanied by physical vibrations strong enough to shake windows and rattle buildings. Imagine sitting in your home and suddenly feeling the ground tremble beneath you, your windows shivering in their frames. It's enough to make anyone uneasy. For the locals, this wasn't entirely unexpected, as Mount Etna is known for its frequent eruptions. But the intensity of this particular event was a stark reminder of the volcano's formidable presence. As the ash settled, it blanketed the surrounding areas in a fine layer of gray dust, creating a scene that was both beautiful and haunting. The once vibrant landscapes were temporarily transformed into a monochrome canvas, with everything coated in volcanic ash. 
This ash, while fascinating to observe, is a significant nuisance, especially for the local population. It can clog air filters, damage electronics, and is generally a mess to clean up. Impact on travel and local infrastructure. The recent eruption of Mount Etna had a substantial impact on travel and local infrastructure, particularly at Katanya International Airport, a major hub for flights into and out of Sicily. The eruption led to a significant ash cloud reaching heights of up to eight kilometers, which forced the airport to shut down completely. This decision was made swiftly to ensure the safety of passengers and aircraft as volcanic ash can severely damage jet engines and reduce visibility. The closure led to widespread cancellations and diversions of flights. Many passengers found their flights rerouted to other airports, such as Pu and Kizo, which were relatively unaffected by the ash cloud. For travelers, this meant an abrupt change in plans. Imagine arriving at Catania Airport only to find out that your flight has been canceled or diverted. Some flights that were already in the air had to make unscheduled landings at alternate airports. The airport authorities continuously updated flight statuses and advised passengers to check for the latest information before heading to the airport. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. This advice was crucial as the situation was dynamic with conditions changing rapidly due to the unpredictable nature of volcanic activity. The sudden influx of passengers at alternate airports like Pu and Trapani also put a strain on local resources, including transportation and accommodations. On the ground, the impact was equally challenging for local residents and businesses. The ash fallout affected visibility and air quality, making daily activities more difficult. The closure of Catania Airport disrupted not only passenger travel, but also the transport of goods and services, leading to delays in deliveries and impacting local businesses. The local economy felt the strain as tourism a vital part of Sicily's economy, took a hit with a temporary suspension of flights. To manage the transportation chaos, car rental companies and bus services became essential. With the unexpected closure of Catania Airport, travelers needed alternative ways to reach their destinations. Car rental agencies saw a surge in demand as passengers, now rerouted to airports like Pu and Trapani, sought to continue their journeys. The buses provided an essential service, connecting major cities with these alternative airports. In some instances, Airlines and airports arranged for free shuttle services to assist passengers stranded by the sudden changes. These efforts helped to alleviate some of the stress and confusion, providing a measure of relief in a difficult situation. Safety and precautions.
Despite the dramatic scenes of ash clouds and rumbling ground, it's generally safe to travel to Sicily, even when Mount Etna is active. The island is well prepared for volcanic activity with robust infrastructure and emergency services. Local authorities and businesses are accustomed to dealing with the disruptions that Etna's frequent eruptions can cause. However, travelers should still take some basic precautions to ensure their safety and comfort. First and foremost, it's important to stay informed. Travelers should regularly check local news and official advisories regarding volcanic activity and any associated risks. During periods of heavy ashfall, it's advisable to stay indoors as much as possible, as ash can cause respiratory issues and irritate the eyes and skin. Additionally, travelers should avoid unnecessary travel to the affected areas, particularly around the volcano itself, where conditions can be unpredictable and dangerous. Sicily is also experiencing hot weather conditions, which adds another layer of consideration for travelers. Staying hydrated is crucial, as is wearing lightweight, breathable clothing and using sunscreen to protect against the sun's strong rays. It's wise to seek shade during the hottest parts of the day and to be mindful of the symptoms of heat exhaustion, such as dizziness and nausea. If feeling unwell, it's important to seek medical attention promptly. Mount Etna, is not just a significant natural landmark, but also a well-monitored one. As Europe's most active volcano, Etna has a long history of eruptions. While these events are frequent, they rarely pose a direct threat to human life, thanks in part to modern monitoring techniques and preparedness measures. The last time lava reached populated areas was in the 1800s, and today's safety protocols are even more stringent, broader implications, and travel advice. The eruption of Mount Etna has far-reaching implications beyond the immediate disruptions to travel. One of the most significant impacts is on the local economy, particularly the tourism sector, which is a cornerstone of Sicily's economy. The sudden closure of Catania International Airport a critical entry point for visitors, has undoubtedly caused a ripple effect. Tourists who had planned to visit Sicily found themselves unable to fly in, and those already on the island faced uncertainty about their departure. This situation has led to cancellations of hotel bookings, tours, and other tourist activities, all of which contribute significantly to the local economy. Restaurants, shops, and other businesses that rely heavily on tourist traffic have also been affected, facing a sudden drop in customers and revenue. The potential long-term effects on travel and tourism in Sicily are a concern. While Mount Etna's eruptions are a known and somewhat expected phenomenon, the severity and frequency of such events can influence travelers' perceptions and decisions. If the volcano's activity continues or escalates, it could lead to a more sustained decline in tourist numbers. This decline would not only impact businesses directly associated with tourism, but also have a broader economic impact, affecting employment and local suppliers. The key for Sicily will be to manage the situation effectively, ensuring safety and clear communication with potential visitors to mitigate any long-term negative perceptions. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments and remember to like and subscribe for more intriguing discoveries like this. See you in the next video.